Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Saving Supermom. Here on this channel, I will be sharing with you how I budget for my family of four on one income. I'm a stay-at-home mom to our two daughters and my goal is to find a balance of being financially responsible while enjoying life. If this sounds like content you would enjoy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and joined our little budgeting community. With that said, let's get into today's video. I first want to apologize, this is going out a day later. Um, it is currently Monday and um, it's supposed to be posted Monday, <laughs> but um, this is gonna go out tomorrow morning. So I'm not going to count this. Um, I will tell you, I already took out gra gas money, um, which was our usual 40. I took out spending money. Um, which was usual 20 and then I took out uh, holidays which I put $10 towards holidays and um, I do have to update my tracker but um, yesterday Sunday me and my mom went to the um, flower day at Eastern Market in Detroit and it was so much fun um, so I took all of the money that was in that envelope and I bought some flowers for my mother-in-law. I treated me and my mom to lunch and then um, I went shopping like I said I was <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. So I'm going to jump right into my wallet. My, my ID was in there. I gotta take that out. Um, so this is from the Aesthetic Dollar and um, I still need to get new envelopes for this, but I have a couple of receipts that I need to scan into my Fetch Rewards app. Um, and I have my referral code posted in the description below. Um, if you use my referral code for any of the rewards apps that I have listed, then I get some uh, bonus bonuses and you get a bonus as well so it's a win-win for the both of us um okay so i'm going to jump right into groceries um we are getting 140 and we were supposed to go grocery shopping this weekend but it was so busy that we are going to be going tomorrow evening so that is all that is all that i'm doing in here something on it I'll do it but um and I'm gonna jump over to our bills binder oh I did want to point this out so I haven't had a candle in my videos in quite a while because I packed them all away but I went to one of my friends um wedding shower on Saturday and I won this candle first of all it is absolutely gorgeous i love the flowers and i love the greenery there's a little bee oh i just noticed that but it smells amazing too oh there's another bee it smells amazing i'm not gonna light it until we move because i don't want to get soot everywhere but it smells so good just sitting out in the open Anyway, um, I'm going to be putting 140 into our mortgage and we are slowly saving up for our new mortgage that is due July 1st. So 140, 140. So we have, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 900 I'm confused <laughs> okay I'm taking this 50 out one two three four five six seven twenty forty sixty eighty eight eight fifty seventy eighty ninety nine hundred nine hundred dollars and our mortgage is seventeen fifty five So we have $900. 
Um, DTE is getting 50 and this is going to be paying for the prorated um, utility when we move out. We have to get um, our utilities checked so that we can pay the prorated rate for when we move out because we're not going to be here for an entire month next month. Um, and these are all for June bills. So I have $200 saved up. Um, Xfinity is getting 50. So now we have 100, 150, 200, 210 in Xfinity. And I'm just writing it off to the side on a little piece of paper. Loan is getting 20. So now loan has 1, 2, 300, 320, 40, 60, and 365. Car insurance is getting 50. And I am making a full payment of my six month premium um, at the end of this month. So when I pull this money out, I'm going to use this money in addition to the money that's currently in my checking account that's supposed to be paying for May um, because my bill is due the 28th. So I pull plan on pulling um, this money before the 28th so that I can use this 370 plus the 370 that's our, or well, the 332 actually because it changed. So this 332, once it's fully funded and the 332 that's in my checking account, plus I have money in my savings account um, that I pulled from, um, the money we got from selling this house. So we are going to be paying off the next six months. So it won't be due again until October. So did I count this? One, 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290. I don't think I did. 290. And then last that I'm stuffing today in here is my subscriptions and that is now at oh I put 20 in here um, 50 70 90 100 okay now we're going to do sinking funds Okay, so now Harper is getting $10. We did not have any rollover money this week. Or, uh, well, last week. I'm stuffing this late, so last week we did not have any rollover money. Okay, so I added 10. Today is the 20th plus 10. So we should be at 298. 1, 200, 250, 270, 280, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 298, perfect. Okay. Um, this Charlotte is also getting ten dollars so she should be at 598 and although I am two dollars off or two dollars shy from my five hundred dollar threshold um, I am not putting it in the bank because 
the difference is $200, three hundred dollars, four ninety eight, not five ninety eight. Silly me. The difference is two hundred dollars, and that is from her birthday, and that is what is going inside. Or that's what's going towards her new room. All right, so we should have 498. 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 498. Perfect. And then the $25 gift card for Amazon is also in there, and I'm not counting it towards her tracker because it's not cash. Okay, so I took out $40 from um I took out $40 the rest was $40 um I added 10 I did this backwards but I added 10 so I had $50 but then I also took $100 out of um the events so that I had $150 going to the event yesterday. Um, $50, I don't remember what that was for. The 165 was for my husband's hockey. I really don't remember what that 50 was for. Oh well, it, it was for a reason and we had the money so. It's okay. So we're not adding anything in here. Um, Christmas is getting 15. So it should have 175. So we have 100, oh my goodness, 100, 120, 140, 60, 70, 75, 175. Um, events is getting 40. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, six, twenty, forty, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, six seventy-five. That is correct. I'm gonna have to clean this off soon, start over. Um next is tattoos. Tattoos is getting ten dollars. So it should have one thirty. So now we have fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten, one twenty, one twenty five, and one thirty. Um, weddings and babies is getting five dollars. So we should have 125. And we have 125. I did um, consolidate the bills in some of the envelopes so they might look different from last video. Um, but that's because I wanted really small de denominations to take um, for the
flower day yesterday um, and I'm glad I did because it ended up working out perfect. Um, I literally did not spend a single dime outside of parking on my credit or on my debit card. So parking was $10. I did put that on my debit card, but I took all the cash and I spent cash only. And I came home with $3. I don't know how the magic that, that worked around that. It was literally perfect. It was amazing. And I, I was not paying attention to like spending because I went to one, two, three four, five, six, I think at least six different vendors and I did not pay attention to what I was giving them. I just knew that I had cash and how much I would have left after leaving each vendor and I was very confident in how much I was spending at each place and I came home with three dollars and parking we parked in the garage and it was $10 and I already knew I was going to put that on my debit card. So I call that a win-win. <laughs> okay, so extra debt is getting $30. So we should have 91. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1. Perfect. Okay, and you know the drill. We are now going to do our virtual May challenge right here. I'm gonna color in another five flowers. We are putting in $50 and this should bring us to 51, 150. Perfect. $150 towards our May challenge. And last but not least, we are putting the last $30 that I have in my tray in our emergency fund. So I'm going to color in three of these hexagons and I will be right back. Okay, so in our emergency fund, we have $500 in the bank. We have six, 700, 750, 800, 8, 20, 30, 8, 40. $840 and we are saving a thousand dollars so we are almost done and then once I do hit that thousand dollar threshold I will put that extra um, $500 in cash in my savings account and then we will move on to different savings challenges all right I am officially out of money so that is all for today's video. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Always remember, you are amazing, you are worthy, and you are more than enough. I hope you have an awesome Tuesday and I will see you in the next video.